Miss Business. Miss Business. Hello. What's up? What's up? How are you? Good episode. I'm good. Hey, Queen, I'm how good. are you? Oh, we got the tree up and all that. Oh, Miss, have you ever have you ever met Ian before? I'm trying. I have not met Ian before. Hi, Ian. Not, hi, nice to meet you. You was killing it on the um, episode with Trap. So when Rashad called me, oh, like, thank I'm like, well, you. Bring her on today. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, the earner says Shotty's back. Yes, he's back. He's back. Shotty's back. No, no, no. He's acting up. He's talking spicy. It's spicy again, right? Oh, I love it. I love he don't it. talk very much, so it's like when he do talk, you gotta just listen. He kind of like Jay in a sense. Like you know how Jay don't talk a lot, and then once he does talk, it's like okay, let's listen to what he gotta say. But it's always something slick. <laughs> so you gotta watch it. Yeah, and- and for context, for everyone on YouTube, if you guys watch the replay before you come with the crazy comments, we do this because we care. So we want you to execute because I don't want 2025 to come. Like, okay, honestly, like, what if we stay in a range for two years? And for those of us that did not grow up and have millions handed off to us, what if it's bad for two years? Could you handle two more years of this? Execution part. It, the, the the stocks will give you some leverage to be able to float through. So, shot, calm down. Now, my stay. Come nah, on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Miss Business. Um, it was such a, it was such a pleasure to have you on to explain how we got the cars because you know every time that we do something, it's always strategic. So when we when we got the cars. So if you if you're interested in that, that's on our YouTube. That's on Apple and Spotify as well. She gave a. 30 minute, 20 minute breakdown of how to put your car and your business name. A lot of assets in your company. And that was that was a, that was a lot of gems. So I'm like, you know what? We should do like these things. We just drop little nuggets on people because there's so much stuff that people don't understand. So I believe today we're gonna talk about a few different things. But first, uh SBA situation. Yes. I wanted to talk about that because we did an episode back in what was that, March? March. Yeah. And that episode went crazy. Like that episode had my phones ringing in my office so crazy that I just got up and walked out. Because I was like, I cannot do this. And, and let me, let me, let me just for full transparency, the SBA situation. So Small Business Administration, for anybody that doesn't know, um, when Corona first hit crazy, you know, they, they released a lot of money for um, small business reliefs. And at the time, we wasn't even going to take a, a SBA loan because, um, you know, we didn't really need the money, fortunately. But MG the mortgage guy when he hit me and he was like, yo, <laughs> you know about this SBA situation? I'm like, yeah, I heard about it, but uh, what's the deal? And he was like, yo, I got a, I just got the loan and he told me how much he had. I replied. I applied. Right away. I applied right, right away. Apply. Yeah, Matt called me. He's like, you think I should apply for this? I'm like, yeah, apply for it. Like, it's free money. The interest rate is not free money, but it's a low, low, it low interest low rate. rate. It's a yeah. low cost Zero to have money. Months, 3% for the next... 20 years. Yeah. 30. That's crazy. All right. Yes. So, so where we at? Because a lot of people, a lot of people all over the country, Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> Shout out to the A, we'll man. I'm here to Shout let you know. Listen. A lot, of, a lot of people got these SPA loans and they just went crazy. Some federal charges were brought up. Mm-hmm. Um, so where what's the deal with this SBA situation? Got you, got you. Okay. So I wanted to just um kind of come back and have the conversation of what the terms of the SBA loan is, right? Because everybody's getting this money. It it was one of those situations where I've seen a few different things happening. One is, so I have a lot of people asking like, what is an SBA loan? I think Rashad just kind of spoke on that. Rashad, you want me to kind of give an overview again? Okay, so SBA loan, pretty much was the EIDL loan, which is the Economic Industry Disaster Loan, that was released as part of um, a COVID relief fund, right? So they decided that they were going to give loans at a low interest rate for 30 years um, to small business owners, right? They made the application process so simple. Um, They almost didn't ask for much. Um, from people outside of you knowing how much income your business made, um, what your cost of goods sold was, you know, the business owners, the bank accounts, that's really all the information that you needed, right? Your business legal name and your EIN number. And people were getting very large sums of money. However, of course, people are getting this money and not really understanding what's going to come. And what I like to say to everyone, of course, a lot of people are not reading the terms. 
Um, and one very, very important term in there is about keeping your books and records, right? So they are requiring you to have bookkeeping in place. So inside of the agreed, the loan document that you signed when you received the funds, what they said was, we are going to call for your books within three years, like within three years of you receiving the, the loan, right? They also expect you to have had your books in place up to five years prior to receiving it, right? Then they changed it again. Um, so they changed it again and they're basically saying, okay, well now we want you to have your books for the full, your books completed for the full period of you holding, um, ha basically having the loan. So if you take 30 years to pay it back, then they expect for you to have bookkeeping in place for those 30 years. If you decide to pay it off early, which, which you can, and that's another thing I wanna to touch on because I've had a few clients ask me that as well, is there a prepayment penalty? There is no prepayment penalty. I did the math though. Do not take 30 years to pay that money back. It basically doubles, right? Um, so yes, they give you 30 years, but don't take 30 years to pay it back. Um, the amount that you receive is just pretty much going to double. Um, so unless it's, you know, benefiting you in some sort of way, then I would suggest paying it back or making, you know, larger payments once, um, once you do have to pay that back. So I know that a lot of people are going to get caught up in this, right? Because the SBA is still trying to wrap their head around all that just happened. There was an influx. There was millions of people applying legally, illegally, right? However, <laughs> however, that bookkeeping piece is important. It's so important because guess what? If they come to call for your books and you don't have any sort of bookkeeping in place, they're going to call for that loan back. And so if you got $100,000 or you got $50,000, they're going to want their $50,000 back. It's similar to like a mortgage, right? Like if you go mortgage and you apply FHA and then you're not really living in the property and then they come to the property and you're not living there, what they're going to do, they're going to call back the loan. And so that's the same thing that's going to happen. And so I have been stressed in bookkeeping for so long. Um, and, you know, you guys, I'll never forget, Rashad called me like, I'm filling out this application. I need these, these specific uh, numbers. Okay, cool, no problem, right? They had their bookkeeping in place. So it was easy for them to get it. It's easy for them to be in compliance. Um, but for those people who are not in compliance and have received that SBA loan, that's important, right? So that's kind of first step. And then we could kind of, you know, I don't know, Rashad or Troy, if you guys have anything. Yeah, I got, I got something. I mean, first, yeah. let me acknowledge that we're in compliance because we got a great CPA. But yes, the, second yes, thing, yes. <laughs> the second thing is this. Um, so, you know, a lot of businesses have used the SBA loan. I'm wondering how many times are they eligible to apply for them? Or, or can, can they do it twice? Or like, how does that work? No, so they only, you, for the SBA, you only can do it one time. However, if you had multiple companies, you literally could have applied under every single company, right? Because again, that kind of takes me back to the conversation that we were having the other day, where every single business is its own entity. It stands alone. So if you had five businesses, even though you're the owner of those five businesses, those businesses still stand alone as a separate entity. So yeah, I know, so I have some clients who had five Businesses and they apply for all five businesses. I mean, even us, we have we have multiple businesses, and we did that. Mm -hmm. And I, somebody had asked the question, like, should you put all your businesses under one name? It's like, no, for a variety of different reasons. But mm -hmm. that's the perfect reason why you got you got to separate because different mm -hmm. businesses you might have different partners in one business that's not another business, and it's just a lot easier to, to keep track of everything. My graduates from my school, being Forbes, backdrop, backdrop. <laughs> A mic drop. <laughs> Bag drop. Bag drop.